A planet that needs to provide 50% more energy, 50% more food, 30% more water over the next couple of decades, it simply is not going to happen unless we change the way that we consume. The circular economy is a fundamentally different economic model. It's taking the entire global economy, looking at it through a different lens and saying how can we valorise our economy to a higher level. So never at any point would anything made within a circular economy become waste. In all the systems, we are basically not properly addressing the need for change. In a circular economy thinking, we actually will recuperate the value of the product when it comes to the end of its life cycle look at the commodity indexes of the last hundred years, we saw that price come down for a century. The problem is those prices have more volatility in them than we've ever seen before in history. The supply of these polymers are one of the most abundant resources we have on a daily basis. If you use less energy, you use less chemical to produce new material, of course you're going to have financial savings. This is the largest business opportunity ever seen by our species. With recurring revenues, that come out of a base of customers that will take my product as a service, I can build a very profitable and recurring revenue stream. It has developed over time exactly into a virtual ownership of the material throughout the whole product life cycle. What the customer needs to see is personal benefit to them. They've got to walk into a shop, into a store online and see that they buy a product and service that they want. It's sexy, it's aspirational, it's the right price point. And by the way, it's also circular. With technology, materials, science, uh, the Internet of Things, we can use our innovation and creativity to really build an economy that is more circular.